killer disease in the world, and yet it does not get the same attention as other diseases. This according to Health Minister Dr. Aaron Motswaleri. Marking World TB Day, he spoke at a national prayer service at St. George's Cathedral in Cape Town. Motswaleri called on all leaders, public, private, religious and political, to lead the fight to end TB in South Africa. World TB Day is themed, it's time. Time to get people informed and educated and time to finally bring an end to a disease that can be cured. Over the last 200 years, TB has killed more people than influenza, malaria, yellow fever and HIV AIDS combined. It still kills tens of thousands annually. No new drug or testing method was developed for over 50 years and new developments emerged only recently. The health minister says the lack of urgency is baffling. Every head of state must talk of TB regardless of whether it appears in their prepared written text or not. Every time they address people, they must think about the issue of TB and just add it in their speeches. And I'll ask ministers of religion in their sermons, whether it's in their prepared sermons or not, they must keep on reminding people of this killer disease. South Africa remains one of the highest burden rate countries in the world. The Western Cape has the third highest incidence of TB in the country, but its treatment success rate is over 80%. One of the major challenges is a constantly moving workforce, especially in rural areas. Now with a unique patient identifier, which is where the only province uh, that has got that, we could be able now to track. Because in some instances they'll go to farm A, like Breda Valley in Vusta, and then go elsewhere. And then they don't continue the treatment, and then we lose them. But now we could be able to track them, because if they go to another clinic, for example, in Wittenberg, we could be able to see that this is the patient who is supposed to be um, on treatment. Anyone, anywhere can get TB. Miss South Africa 2018, Tamarin Green, contracted the disease during her third year of medical studies. She says stigma still plays a major role. We started back then also very afraid to talk about HIV and I think TB should progress in the same direction. It should be something that's part of our daily lives. Um, so whenever I can, at any event, I go out there and I just spread the word that TB can affect anyone. It doesn't discriminate. And most importantly, it's curable. So the sooner anyone goes out there to, you know, find, get that treatment, the better and the less the rate will be of transmission. All members of society are encouraged to get tested and, if needs be, start and complete treatment as soon as possible. Time not just to talk about it, but time to stop TB. Mariska Berta, SABC News, Cape Town.